we had plenty of chances to break that game open and um, just couldn't come up with a big hit. Scored five, took some good swings against Contreras, but at the end of the day, we, we had a lot of missed opportunities. What did you see from Gio? Um, just a walk there uh, that led to that. Um, he's coming in. Zawinski's a high punch-out guy. That's his guy to go get, and then we'll deal with Santana. Um, but uh, obviously walked him, and then beginning happened. Yeah. Was it a matter of location? Yeah, I missed the spots on, on, on certain pitches. They took some really good swings off of him. At the end of the day, the, the walk to Zawinski was a big one. Uh, once uh, they stole uh, both of those bases there, um, Palante's strength is no longer strength with the ball in play. You're looking at getting a punch out with Sawinski, who's a high punch out guy. Joe's a high punch out guy. Unfortunately, he walks in Santana, put a good swing on the backside. What, yeah. Can you walk through the choices that they follow when you do have base opening, but that matchup with Cabrera and Halo, imagine you like with Gio there, of course, I can see in your eyebrows. But, yeah. And then the not, who are you putting on? Well, that's what I'm asking. Okay. You obviously have, I mean, just that, talk through like how, how you look through that. And then you have a run of lefties coming up, but the one, the first guy is kind of splitting, or reverse splitting. Um, in Bay. Yeah, in Palacios. Um, if you get to him. If you get to him, then yeah. you go lefty there. They're bringing a couple guys off of the bench with Joe and Castro, and you don't want Castro swinging from the right side, and that's his strength. That's what they want. Um, Gio comes in at Sawinski. wants to – you don't want a ground ball to a player. That's not possible. And um, – you're looking for a punch out there, and then Santana has to beat you with the with the base knock. Uh, after that, there's really no answer for it. You go lefty, you go Cavi or Matt's there, they go Joe and Castro. Um, you stick with your strength, which is Gio, who had multiples in him today. I hope you get through that, and then Helsley closes. But end of the day, hey, he's got him. That's the guy he's got to get. Yeah. On a night when you get a good start and you get a 5-0, run, 5-0 lead, does that make it even worse? I mean, Jack pitched really well. Obviously. Yes, it does. What did you make of their approach against Jack? A lot of high pitch counts. A lot of uh, yeah, but he, did, he still did a nice job and got a lot of swing and miss with the curveball. Um, the cutter was a good player for him as far as just being in the zone with it and used his other stuff appropriately. So, um, end of the day, Jack gave us a gave us a shot for sure. And um, Palante came in, got his two ground balls, did his job there. Game got a little quick uh, in the second inning. Jack's got a, Jack's got a sub. Two ERAs last four starts. So how much progress has he made? A ton. Uh, he's looking like the the Jack that this club needs. And he's going out there and competing and doing a really nice job of it. He gave us more than a chance today. We missed some opportunities. Yeah. Arnado with his first outside field home run as a Cardinal. Did you see that at bat? <laughs> yeah, it's a, that was a really good swing, and uh, he's feeling uh, good about where he's at. Uh, Goldie took some good swings today. Donnie with the big homer there, but o- overall we. We did take some good swings, but we, we had some missed opportunities to put that game away earlier. Yeah. Only Walker had a ball 111 miles an hour for a hit back up the middle. Did you, did you like what you saw from him overall tonight? Yeah. 